Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be talking about discrimination and how people on the spectrum are discriminated. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video was inspired by the civic unrest going on here in the United States and around the world, as well as Pride Month. People on the spectrum can be victims of discrimination, not just because of the color of their skin or sexual orientation, but also the fact they have a disability, which autism is a disability. There are also autistic people who can be LBGTQ along with multicolored. Like people on the spectrum who are straight and white, they too can be targeted. I have met people on the spectrum who are LBGTQ and multicolored before in my life and have gotten along with them like I would any other person. Autistic people and people with other intellectual disabilities like people who, who are LBGTQ or multicolored are also called offensive words that are harmful. Like for example, I've been called these words especially growing up being bullied from when I was a kid to even as an adult before. Every time I would get picked on and called these words, I would get angry or just cry as these words would hurt me. I've even been called homophobic words before as they are very offensive to the LBGTQ community as well as some racial slurs here and there. As I learned ever since joining Dive Heart, that these words are frowned upon. Jim Elliot himself said, for example, when it comes to people who are in wheelchairs, they are called wheelchair users. And of course, when it comes to people with intellectual disabilities, they do not use the R word, which is definitely very offensive. And especially since that's one of the words I've been called throughout the years. And it gets me upset and hurts me. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, if you're going out, please be sure to wear a mask. Carry hand sanitizer with you. As well as practice social distancing. And lastly, happy Pride Month to everyone in the LBGTQ community.